so I'm at Jeski Land right now and i um, with my good friend Justin Jeski here and we're at his home gym. It's awesome. So today you guys I want to be making a video how to increase your bench press overall. There's gazillions of videos online on how to increase your bench press. This is something super simple and easy. When I first started benching, I was right before I met Justin Jeski, but I was I was doing dumbbell freaking like bench press for like 30 pound dumbbells. Now we're doing 120. So overall with age and testosterone over time is going to increase, but this is gonna be super simple. I'm gonna give you guys three simple things that you can start doing or implementing right now to increase your bench press. It's one of my favorite movements. Just keep bench press. He's gonna be doing 405 today. It's gonna be amazing to see that. <laughs> First things first is when it comes down to doing a heavy bench, it gets kind of scary at times because when you start loading up the bench and you might be low weight and you're trying to get your bench up, it gets quite frightening. So always try to train with just something that a safety bar. Um, this is something where a lot of individuals don't have at the gym, but if you can do this, like in a squat rack, like a sort of a pin and press, but tip number one is really what I try to focus on. It's just grabbing onto the bar or that thick shaft of yours and just bending the bar this way. So pretend you're like on a motorcycle with like monkey bars and you're hanging like this. That's how you put the elbows in and you're gonna be focusing on pressing in with your triceps. So tip number one, super easy. That's like one of my main focuses when I'm focusing on a heavy bench is just putting those elbows in. that you could focus on to increase your overall bench press over time is something working on weak points rather than strength points. So and in the body guys, like there's a difference, I think it's called slings to be honest. I think it's called slings. Jesky and I were just talking about it. For example, let's say you have really tight hips. People might think like, oh, I gotta just stretch out my hips. But in reality, you need to strengthen your weak point, which is your glutes or your hammies or even your abs. Same thing when it comes to bench. So this is a quick story. My, our other friend, Justin Styler, uh, he's awesome dude, has a clothing line and stuff. He, would, he, he went to the gym with us guys and he walked around like this. He was like really wide. <laughs> he was really wide, but he was like, his chest was like concaved. And so back then we're like, dude, just keep doing bench, keep doing bench, keep doing bench, but he couldn't get the numbers up. So what he ended up doing and focusing on was strengthening the rear delts and just your overall thoracic mid spine area, just back exercises. Because if you're going into bench and you're concaved, even if you try to stretch it out, you have a hard time increasing those numbers over time. So exercises like a face pull, like pulling towards your face and really, really, really light movements, focusing on just squeezing the scapula because when you get on bench, that's what you gotta do is you gotta squeeze that scapula in order to have that big wide chest and grow those big titties that you want. So pretty much that's something that I've always focused on and our close friend Justin Styler did and his bench just went skyrocketing through the roof. So that's something I would highly suggest trying. We're almost done this sick workout. Let's go, Jess. Let's go, let's keep going. Okay, so last tip about increasing the bench press. Uh, Pesky and I, sorry, Jesky and I are almost done here, working out here. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about this positioning. Again, guys, there's so many videos online about positioning, but over time, um, you get more comfortable and when the weight increases, you gotta make sure your positioning is right. So to really simplify it, again, what I was saying, you got that bar in front of you, you wanna freaking grab onto that and bend it. First things first, is I always just like, you can either be on the flat, flat footed or you can be on the balls of your feet. The issue with being on the ball of your feet is that your ass is more likely gonna come up from the bench. You wanna keep your ass on the bench. So as I go to lay down here, See this just keep, oh. As I go to lay down, you guys, I'm contracting that scapula, right? I'm squeezing my shoulder blades and then the, the bar's right below my eyes and there's spacing between my 
lumbar spine here. So Jessica and I were just talking, when you go heavy, your low back starts to hurt. So you wear a belt to relieve that pressure. But you wanna be touching on the ass, touching on your shoulder blades, feet grounded on the ground. And you're gonna come down, guys, and your elbows are in, right? Elbows are in. And to increase it, pin and press. See how this is here? This is beautiful at Jeski's setup. This is how I got to 315 bench. So pretty much that's a simplified getting ready on bench. If you want to increase those strength numbers, pin and press, meaning putting the weight on the safety bars, arm bars, and pressing up. So focusing on holding the weight. And this is how I got to 315. And 315 is not like crazy. But you let it set for two seconds and then you everything's planted. Your ass, your feet, you're gonna ground yourself from the ground. Big breath, elbows in. <sighs> We're gonna press that weight up. Now I don't have any weight on because we just did sets and sets and sets. But guys, I know like <sighs> Jessica and I were just talking about it. Like there's so many other videos, and I want to provide as much value as I can. But instead of like making it very complicated, I just want to make it very simple. And that's pretty much out about it. I'm not gonna break it down all Jeff Nippard science style, <laughs> but that's how we are benching over 225 or even 315 at times. Um, I hope you guys can find some value from that. I mean, there's there's a lot that goes into the bench itself. You can really get very technical, but overall, have fun with it. Make sure you're being safe too, because as you go heavy, like you've seen, I was at Gold's the other day, and I saw the video, the guy <laughs> unracked it, because the bars move a little bit, just like Jeski's bars here. And 225 Jeski fell on his chest, and he's like, Whoa! and that's just frightening. Yeah, look at that chest bump. Look at the chest, chest bump, baby. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little workout I did with Jeski. 26 days out from men's physique, alpha land. Oh, frick. Gotta, <laughs> gotta focus on my posing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's in the works. I love coming to Jeski land. If you guys want to come to Jeski land, it's $400 a month, but you get everything. Free 3D, free ghost supplements, free liquor. There's guitars everywhere. It's amazing here. Jeski land, get your pass soon. Peace out.